with deep gratitude, we at Yogi Stream would like to thank you for joining us. We invite you to take a deep breath, relax, and enjoy this experience you are holding time and space for. Aloha and namaste, yogis. Welcome to a 15-minute seated flow with me. My name is Madeline, and I will be your instructor today. Let's just take these first few moments of our time together to take a look around, looking down at these beautiful lava rocks, looking out towards the ocean, the expansiveness of the sea, the mountain, looking up towards the sky, and you can see the tops of these palm trees. In Sanskrit, tada means palm tree. So these beautiful tadas. And looking out, seeing the sun coming over these green cascading leaves over the lava rocks, just taking in our surroundings. Let's find our center. You can bring your hands to the Anjali Mudra in prayer. You can bring your hands to the holding the universe mudra, bringing the right hand on top of the left and then bringing the thumbs to kiss in the lap. Or your palms can be up on the knees for receiving energy, down for grounding. We're just going to take a few deep cleansing breaths, clearing ourselves of any stresses from the day, allowing us to be fully present here and now. So take a deep breath in through the nose. Feel that breath moving down the spine, rooting you down in your seat where you are. And taking a deep breath out through the mouth. <sighs> Dropping the shoulders, releasing the jaw, the temples, the mind. Take another deep inhale here. And a full exhale. Just focusing on that prana, that life force energy. The inhale, finding this opening in the chest, ex expanding in the heart. Exhale, finding a release of tension that you may be holding in the body or you may be holding in the mind. So if they're not already there, let's bring the hands to heart center in that Anjali Mudra. And then we're going to interlace the fingers. Inhale, we're going to push the palms forward, getting a nice wrist stretch. And then up towards the tada, towards those palm trees. If you look up, breathe in. And breathe out. Let's just shift our weight over to one side, going over, pulling the arm over. Make sure that you're rooting both of those sit bones into your space. Inhale, finding that center, that alignment of the spine. And then exhale, pulling over to the other side. Amazing. Inhale, let's come back up, looking up, drishti, or your focus towards the sky. And then exhale, let's bring those hands back down. Bring them back to prayer. Go ahead and just roll out the wrists, going in one direction. Maybe you've been typing all day. Let's just release that tension. And then going the opposite direction. Keeping your focus on that breath, connecting that breath with the waves that are crashing over to the side, in and out. Beautiful. Let's come back to our center, bringing our hands to heart center. Inhale, let's extend the arms high. And then exhale, we're just going to release the left fingertips down to the left side. Extending that arm out, spreading your fingers nice and wide so that you're engaging the forearm. And then the opposite, that right arm is still high. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just reaching that right arm up and over. Utita, finding an extension, palm facing down. You should be feeling this in your side bodies, those muscles in between your rib cage, your intercostals. One more breath here. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and find the other side. So bring your hands at prayer up above you. And then exhale, extending the right arm out. Fingers spreading wide, engaging that forearm. Left arm lifts high. Breathe in. And breathe out, reaching up and over. Utita. Extension. One more. Good. 
Good. Inhale, let's bring both of our arms high, bringing that prayer, that intention back down to heart center. Go ahead and bring your hands onto your thighs or onto your knees. We're just going to take a couple of our seated cat-cow, Mari Jaasana. This is a really nice spinal stretch, especially if you've been sitting all day. Just bringing a little bit of movement into the spine. So on your inhale, you're going to roll the shoulders back, pushing the heart forward and look up towards the sky. Feel that sun shining on your face. Exhale, you're going to pull it in, squeezing the belly button towards the spine and then the chin towards the chest. Inhale, finding that cow breath. And exhale, finding the cat. Just one more time. Inhale, allowing that drishti, that focus to be up towards the clear sky. And exhale, bringing it down towards the ground, maybe finding a green leaf to focus on as you're squeezing those shoulder blades together or a rock or maybe just looking at your own heart. One more breath here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's go ahead and neutralize the spine, neutralize the shoulders. We'll just take a couple of shoulder shrugs here so your hands can stay as they are. Inhale, you're going to pull the shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, just dramatically drop them down. Let's do two more just like that. Inhale. Exhale, let them go. One more. Beautiful. Inhale. We're going to open our arms as wide as you can, as if you're hugging the whole wide world, you're hugging the space, stretching those arms out, squeezing the shoulder blades back towards one another. And then we're gonna stack our elbows right on top of one another, the right elbow on top of the left. Go ahead and you can start with a hug and if this is enough, you can stay here. Maybe your shoulders are really tight. Always encourage that self-love. So either stay here or to take this a step further, we're gonna find a guru which means eagle in Sanskrit. So we're going to find a Garuda arm. So by doing that, you're going to twist the arms around and bring the hands together. Maybe you get a nice shoulder pop out there if that feels good. Again, if this is too much, this is too intense, just give yourself a hug and stay there. Practice that self-love. So wherever you are on an inhale, we're going to lift the elbows up towards the eye line. And exhale, pull them down, opening up the back of that heart space. Two more, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful breath, yogi, one more time. Exhale, amazing. Rather than just unwinding, we're gonna take our time, be gentle with ourselves, start with that hug first, and then open the arms wide. Exhale, find the opposite side on top. So this time, left arm's gonna come on top of the right, we're going to start with that hug and stay here if this feels right. Or find your Garuda, those eagle arms, so that we can get that equal stretch on both sides. Inhale, lifting the elbows up. Exhale, pulling them down. Two more, three on each side. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, pull it down. Feel that space you're creating in the back of the shoulders. Remember, we're not just going to release and overextend the shoulders, but we're going to find that hug first. Then open our arms wide. Amazing. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and bring our hands back to prayer. Inhale, we're going to lift the arms high. Then we're going to find a gentle twist here, a paravita. So we're gonna start by bringing our right hand down to our left knee, and then that left arm can either go behind you, if you have space, you can extend it, or you can bring the hand to the hip. Inhale, finding a straight spine, and then exhale, twisting, looking out towards the sea, towards the ocean. Breathe in, and breathe out. Always finding that depth in our exhale. So take one more breath in. 
And exhale, go deep into your twist. Beautiful, amazing. Let's find our center, hands up prayer, lifting high. Exhale, let's go over to the opposite side. So the left hand's gonna grab the right knee. Right arm is either gonna come behind you or come to the hip. What do you see looking this way? The green leaves, the sun cascading down these rocks. Breathe in. And breathe out. Maybe you are focusing on the clouds, seeing shapes, connecting with that inner child, Bala. Inhale. Exhale, one more deep twist, ringing out that stagnant energy, making way for more vibrant light. Beautiful, inhale, let's lift the arms high towards the sky. Exhale, we're gonna goal post the arms, creating a baby cactus, pushing your heart up on a pedestal. Again, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Inhale, hands up prayer as if you're setting your intention. Exhale, opening up. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful breath, yogi. Good, go ahead and inhale. Exhale, bring it down. <clears throat> Again, we're gonna do a little bit of love for the shoulders here. So <clears throat> we're just gonna do some shoulder rolls. You can either extend the arms out if you want, and this is gonna be a little bit more work on the shoulder girdle, or you can bring your hands down if you're feeling a little tired. So your choice, hands can be down, or out. Either way, we're just gonna find some nice shoulder circles going forward. Inhale. And exhale. Good, maybe looking up, still keeping that foundation in the neck, so not letting the head hang all the way, but just bringing your drishti up towards those clouds. Breathe in. And breathe out, let's switch our direction, going the other way. Now let's bring our drishti, our focus down towards the earth below us. Grounding down, one more. Beautiful yogi, so if your hands are in your lap or extended, either way, let's go ahead and bring them to heart center in the Anjali Mudra, in prayer. And just lighten your gaze. In front of you, you can look up, down, maybe out to the sea, whatever's bringing you the most relaxation. We're just gonna close our practice here with a deep closing breath and one ohm. I invite you to join me or to just listen. Deep cleansing breath in. And out. Breath in. Coming back to center, if you're drishti or your focus traveled, gently bow your head to your hands, bowing to yourself first in devotion to your practice, in devotion to your intention. Om Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. May you embody and carry this peace with you throughout the rest of your day. Namaste. As you come back into your space, we'd like to say thank you for joining us. If you found any sense of peace or benefit from this experience, please consider sharing this experience with friends, as well as following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for up-to-date Yogi Stream news. Thank you.